Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo. And we're uh, with today Jim Corcoruto, who is Industry Research Associates with the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Jim, could you just explain a little bit what this program is? It's really important to uh, retailers as well as manufacturers. Sure, well thanks for having me, David. And um, NSSF Research has been about around for about 10 years. And what we do is we listen to our 12,000 members that represent the 60,000 people that you see here today and they'll tell us what their wants and needs are based on industry research and they've told us in the past that there's this new group of first-time gun buyers five six years ago we went out and studied them and gave them some insight tell us about this new market of women gun owners we study that segment and we learn about them and provide that information so they can make better decisions and we've been doing this consistently for 10 years really built up a quality library of research that can be found at nssf.com and um, we're at the point now in 2017 where we've had more data than we've ever had consumer data and excitingly we've, we're coming out with a segmentation study results here that um, one of our top research providers, Southwick Associates, can tell you a little bit more about. Well, and here's a very interesting thing, uh, Rob Southwick. Um, we have always looked at the industry by segments, but differently. And I have said many times, women are the fastest growing segment. But the reality is, if I'm a retailer, if I'm a manufacturer, that's not what really is important to me. What's really important is, what, are they look, what is the population looking for, right? Exactly, exactly. People don't buy a product based on what they look like. They buy a product because they have a need, a, a, a motivation, mm -hmm. and they want to satisfy that. And so the right product that satisfies the need is what's sold. And that is what's of interest to retailers, not what the customer looks like, but what is the need and how can the retailer satisfy that need. And how do you actually go about figuring that out? Sure. Well, I'll start off with that one, Rob. Um, we are very fortunate to have members that are willing to participate in some consumer studies. What we do internally as a team is we'll develop a questionnaire that will identify what we want to find out. Then we run that by a team of dedicated market research advisory group uh, consultants that we have through the NSSF, which is made up of a lot of our members. They'll tweak that to what they want to know. We'll then put a report together, or put a, a questionnaire and survey together that will distribute out to the masses, all the gun owners out there. And our partners, a lot of our members, will help us distribute that survey for us. And amazingly, this last segmentation study we did, we got nearly 100,000 consumers to respond to it, which is really, uh, it's, it's a very significant number. Does anything really stick out? Does, it, does anything jump out at you? Oh, definitely, definitely. It's very clear that there's no such thing as the average consumer. Mm -hmm. That if in your business, whether you're a retailer or a manufacturer, if you're targeting all the audience is one, you're missing the mark. There are eight major segments that we identified. Each one has unique set of needs and motivations and preferences when it comes to a product. That if you're going to succeed, if you're going to make the sale, you need to know each one of these eight segments and focus your products, your communications, your advertising, your marketing. Because again, if you try to sell to the average consumer, you're really not selling to anybody at all. And I would suspect social media would be perfect for that because social media, you can actually identify wants and, I mean, they've collected so much data on, on people. I would think that you could tap into right. that as a as like a, a retailer. Sure, and that's a big part of some of the segments out there. Uh, our urban recruits have a you know a high interest in the social media, and that's one of our growth segments as well. So you're absolutely right. Now, is this information just available to National Shooting Sports Foundation members? A majority of it is, but the data set was so huge, and we actually were able to do individual research for some of our customers, or for, for some of our members, as well as the non-members can contact Southwick Associates, and they can run some, some uh, dedicated reports for them as well. So again, the program with NSSF is called what? It's NSSF Industry Research. This is a consumer segmentation study, um, but there's a plethora of historical data that's still relevant today. They can find it at nssf.org slash research. Feel free to give myself a call or our research coordinator, Diane Brablek, a call. We'd love to talk to our members, and, and it, it's a significant savings, too, uh, to be, be an NSSF member, especially on research. If you want to bring your business up to the next level, that's what you have to look at. For SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.